Hello, and welcome to the joy of drinking. <clears throat> My name is Michael Walksher, and today I'm going to be making an oil painting for you with our good friend Bob Ross and Carlo Rossi, California's premier table wine. The goal of the joy of drinking is to follow along with TV oil painter Bob Ross and to get drunk while doing it. I have one semester's worth of oil painting experience and a studio art minor. But uh, I don't know anything much about the episode that I'm about to be painting, so it's all new to me. You can follow along with this episode watching me paint and watching Bob paint side by side by following the link in the description down below. And I highly recommend you do that because otherwise you're going to be watching a drunk guy rambling seemingly to himself while painting what's probably going to be a pretty awful picture. I said I don't know much about the episode, so right now my compadre Ron is going to give me some information that I'm going to need to get started. Season 2, Episode 4, Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey? Sorry. Now, you should know that Magic White has been pre-applied per uh, the episode uh, description. This is me talking to you from the past. I'm putting Magic White on my canvas, and I'm using a little more than last time because I thought maybe that would help my painting. Let's see. I assume I'll have some audio with that, even though it's not my lab mic, right? Look on the camera. That's good enough, right? Sure. That's fine. And uh, all I've got on the uh, palette is a mix of Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown plus titanium white. That's it. I've got two colors. All right. Well, Ron, when you find the time, please pour me another drink. In the meantime, I'm ready to get going. I recovered from my hangover from the previous two episodes. And um, follow the link in the description down below if you care to, or just watch me go solo. It's up to you. Hit it, Ron. Ready to go again. Oh, you're gonna need to turn up the volume on this one. Bob is speaking much more quietly. Oh my God. Oh, I thought Bob was colorblind, but maybe one of the viewers was. What? There's so many other colors on the palette. <laughs> lazy Bob. Who wants to be lazy? I'm drinking. I have an excuse to be lazy, but please. All right. The almighty brush. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Just beat it. An almighty sky. All right. Here we go. First stroke. Stroke of genius. Oh, it's already too much. So I'm going to just keep thinning it out. Not using too much. A little bit right over there, yeah. So last episode I drank Oban 14. This episode I'm drinking some Burgundy Table Wine. Really anything goes on the joy of drinking. Oh, see, Bob hasn't done my mountains in the last couple weeks. I feel like I've done mountains every time. There was a cabin on a mountain for episode two. Oh, clean the brush. Clean the brush. Beat it. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about what color I'm using because it's all the same color. Uh, I wish I knew what I was making. Maybe he said, but are these supposed to be clouds? Ooh, an indication of light slipping through. 
slipping through the cracks. Uh, I mean, normally at this point, I would say that Bob's painting looks much better than mine, but I don't know quite what he's doing, and I don't know quite what I'm doing. So, so far, so good. I'm feeling excellent. I'm feeling so excellent that I probably can take a little break. Have a glass. Mm. Bob blends colors. I blend drinking and painting. Ooh, fan brush. All right, I'm listening this time, very little. Ooh, distinct happy clouds. Oh, that's why, oh, that's why this is too dark. Oh well, we're gonna just have to make them distinct anyway. Dark, really dark clouds. Against uh, the other darkness, no! They're not distinct enough! And then the big brush, okay. So I've had two more paintings under my belt and I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Oh, my clouds lost all their form, no! No, no, no. Back to the fan brush, I guess, okay. Yeah, distinct, distinct, distinct. How do I make these clouds more distinct? Uh, I'll tell you how. I go and I take a huge risk. I get my two inch brush. I clean it off. I beat it off. And I take some of this white. I'm just going, going crazy. I'm deviating from the plan. And I'm making this more white. I'm making this more white and therefore more gray. Making my clouds more distinct. Come on. Okay, he's going into the mountain. I've got no time, I've got no time for this. Palette knife, mountain, boom! Yeah, okay. Here it comes, guys, here it comes. More. And down here. And a little extra mountain there, oh my god. How much better am I at this than last time? So much better that I don't even need to use the two-inch brush that he's using. So much better with the palette knife alone. So much better that we'll highlight the mountain, but first we're just gonna do this part. Yeah, the touch. The touch is so much better. Look at my touch. Ladies, if you're watching, this is the touch. This is the magic touch. Men, if you're watching, this is the touch. This is the magic touch. Snow time, it's snow time. Snow on the mountain so you can go skiing. I feel like I'm trying too hard. This painting should really just come naturally. All right, what are we gonna do with this snow here? We're gonna put some snow on this side. Uh, some less black, some snow. Yeah. Look at this, so much better. I guess, uh, you know, I'm not really in a position to recommend getting drunk while learning in general, but it seemed to be working for me right now. Ooh, problem areas. Oh man, see this, we got cocky. I got cocky because I just looked at his mountains and they're so, so, so much better, but that's okay. I can catch up. I can catch up. Bob, I can't let my imagination take over when all I've got are mountains and snow. What am I going to do? Put a Yeti on there? I probably should, but I don't have any colors. So I can't really do that. All right, let's get the two inch brush. Uh, I need a glass of wine, Ron, if you please. I mean, it's his one job to keep me drinking. And, uh, okay, just all the white, all the white blue. So 
Okay. Oh, I'm confident. I'm loving this. You know, maybe the only reason Bob's paintings look so good are because they're filmed on like older cameras and stuff. And I'm looking at mine way up close. But maybe from afar, this is the most beautiful mountain you've never seen. Man, he's fast at making those mountains. I am sweating like a pig dog. And the booze isn't helping. Okay, fine. Ah! Ah! I gotta get to the two inch brush, so I guess these mountains eroded a little more. Just don't overthink it, don't overwork it. Get it over there, get it over there. Yes! You probably just bought a studio. Man, Bob was renting this whole time? I'm not renting a studio. I'm using my parents' garage. <laughs> just so you know, like, how does a guy like Mike find the, damn it! See, I can't keep talking to you, you entitled audience of like 10 people watching this video. Maybe more? Maybe more by the time it's published to be optimistic? I don't have time to talk to you. I don't have time to entertain you. I've got to get the palette knife and make more snow. Make more snow. I find it a little ironic because I, I wish I wish it were as cold as the snow on this mountains in this room. Because I'm just dying! How does he get that like crusty sort of... Oh my god. Ron, I have a special request for you. This is new. You ready? Okay. I need you to wipe the sweat off my brow. <laughs> That's what I need you for right now. It's not coming up by itself. I'm busy painting mountains. Yes. So refreshing. Ah! He gets so much texture in it. Fine, I'll, I'll try just new techniques, I guess. Ooh, that one came out all right. Texture, texture, texture. Texture. Game of angles. My angle is to have a little bit more wine. But I don't... It's not as easy as you say it is, Bob. You say anyone can paint a picture. Well, I'm painting a picture, barely, but yours just looks a lot better. I bet Bob was banking on no one actually trying to do this. He was banking on it. He's like, people are just gonna watch, they're just gonna relax. And they'll never find out how terrible they really are. But I know I am. But we're getting better all the time. And counteracting that from wine. Uh, oh god, got too much. I need some white. I need some white. I need some white. Ron is like my extra arm. And in this case, his arm is full of white. A little more, a little more. Man, white is so finicky. It just had like a little drop of like other stuff and it's not white anymore. I gotta like dig for the buried white. Dig for berry white. I guess you could dig for berry white. I don't know, is he still around? Probably not. Who knows? Far, far away mountain. And I don't know what tool he's using. I guess it looks like a fan brush, maybe. Clean that up. Oh, beat the fan brush. That's not as fun. That doesn't make as much fun noise. I still don't know what it is. He's holding it at just like the wrong angle, so I can't tell. Maybe. I mean, I guess it's nice just not having many colors to have to worry about. Okay, with the fan brush and the palette knife. It is the fan brush. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna like. Oh, it's a tree. Oh no. A tree? A tiny tree? It's so tiny, Bob. All right, it's a tiny tree. It's a tiny tree. Oh my God, that tree is humongous. That's a mighty tree. It's an almighty tree. No mistakes, just happy accidents. No mistakes, just happy accidents. No accidents, just happy mistakes. No.
just no, I didn't know how to finish that sentence. All right, we need to make like a more pointy top to that tree. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's the closest thing to a tree that I've got. And now mountain rescue time. Bob connected his mountain ranges. There's no reason I shouldn't. And it's not too late. Except now I have a tree in the way. I guess the mountains have to go over the tree. And down. Over the tree and down into there. Ugh. Oh no, this is... All right, we're just gonna... It's, 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 you know, you start fixing one thing, start fiddling with one thing, and next thing you know, it's all over. So I just destroyed my mountaintop from the other mountain range. I am the destroyer of worlds. I destroy all the mountains. Up you go. Ugh. Fuck it! <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, some kind of like foresty thing down there. Or like a grass. I bet what's on my brush is already good. Who needs more paint? Who needs more paint? Up, up. I need more paint. All right, here we go. Making a tiny forest. Making it way too big. I'm gonna fall over and hurt my leg. Ugh. Water lines. Oh, so it's water. It's not a forest at all. No wonder it looked wrong. So it's just water? All right, it's a shimmering water lake with white. Oh man, the white does not cut through the black, ladies and gentlemen. The white does not cut through the black. Mm. But the booze cuts through the pain. Mm. I'll need another glass when you get a chance. No, I'm not going to make your happy little evergreen trees. I'm going to need more white. I'm going to need yet. No, I got some. I got some, but whatever. Give me more. Give me more. And a water line. Oh, my, okay. Water line just like this. Right along the mountains. Ah, uh, the sound of the pouring. You know, there's something much more comforting about the sound of alcohol being poured into a glass than there is from, from Bob's, even Bob's voice. My water line is way too thick. But we'll take that as a learning experience. And I guess the water line continues there, even though there's no ground. Man, I gotta do something with that. I gotta do something with that area. Okay. I missed a tree! I wanna make the painting my own, but I need Bob to teach me how to make it my own. Ah, uh, here we are. Yes, it's that little thing. Remember what I was talking about earlier? Like twice in the first episode, oh, I can paint over mistakes that I already made? Oh man, Ron, this is gonna be a big challenge for you. Because now I need more of that color that was a mix of two colors. Let's see how Ron handles this task. Now, Ron isn't drinking back there, to my knowledge. But, you know, I have so little confidence in him that I think this is going to be a problem anyway. Oh, he's, he's grabbing paints from on my easel. Well, you know, I'm kind of stuck. I'm stuck. I'm just sitting here. Sitting here like a lamb duck, waiting for Ron to come to the rescue. Here you go. Ron is rescuing with the double, the double stuff. Ooh, look at that. Pretty good proportions. Mm. Okay, he's got tons of trees and he's doing them all with the palette knife. I'll, oh, 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 ooh, ooh. Hmm, hmm. All right, thank you. I'm gonna trust that's good just how it is and continue that wavy tree. I've never made a tree with a palette knife. That's like a weird statement. I've never made a tree with a palette knife. You go out there, go out in the wilderness. Go on, make a tree with a palette knife. Just take a palette knife out there and just create nature, create God's world. Uh, man, all my trees look different. And all my trees look uh, pretty, 
Pretty terrible. Oh, he's putting snow on it. That's all right. Shadowy first. Snow secundo. Man. All right? Snow on the tree. Oh. That's fine. It's fine. The thing you have to know is that everything's fine. This is a great thing. I mean, this is why artists probably partake of uh, various substances. It keeps looking better. I keep not caring as much. All I care about is you, the audience. Oh, another tree. Another tree. Oh, man. We got we to gotta make this tree. And, uh, that's a tree. And I got to make another tree. But I'm going to use a fan brush. Not that I think that that's going to help me any, but I guess I'm more used to it. Tree number three. Man, I'm so glad I can still count. These trees just do not pop out against the background. My background is too black. It's too dark. I can't go under it. Can't go. Well, yeah, I can't go over it. And I can't go under it. I can only go over it. Oh, bushes. I don't think I've ever made bushes with Bob. Let me tell you something. It was much easier to get drunk on scotch than it was on wine. I'm doing pretty well, but I just got to make sure to drink more, you know? Um. <clears throat> him. These are gendered bushes. It's a him bush. Him bush. The him of the burning bush. It's probably not a him. Just an old wives' tale. It's a story. Or maybe it's true. What do you believe? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Let's start a religious flame war over Bob Ross. That's just the legacy he wanted to leave. Oh, I need to touch more magic. I need the magic. I avoided it last time, the first time, episode one. But this time I'm calling on Ron. Give me more of the magic white. Give me more of the magic. All right, now that I have magic, and I've got a dirty brush that won't work. Cleaning, cleaning. Cleaning the brush, the one inch brush. And, ooh, wow. Those are some frosty, I assume they're bushes. Here it is. You know, it really just looked like a bunch of Pushing it in, push it in. More magic. I mean, why would I use the magic white instead of the titanium white? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a pro. I'm not a pro. You know, frankly, you're better following along with me than you are with Bob because he's just going to use all this technical mumbo jumbo that you don't know. Man, this stuff's thin. Yep. Yep. Get that white. And water lines. Oh. Come on. Get off, you black. Get off. Oh, oh. Ron gives me a paper towel. He gives me a paper towel to clean the palette knife. I wasn't, I didn't even want that. He's like trying to take control of my project. From behind the camera, Ron. I will not cede. I will not cede control. This is my vision. Oh. Ooh. Actually, it's not my vision. It's someone else's vision. This painting that I'm making right here, more titanium white, please. This painting I'm making right here is for that titanium white. Yeah, titanium white. He's, Ron holds up the magic white. Like, I, that's what I asked for. Ridiculous. This painting, it's for, it's, for the, it's for the colorblind, because Bob made it for the colorblind. And I sincerely, and I mean this, I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Ooh, we gotta have a house. Oh man, this water line isn't doing any good. We abandon it. We abandon it. Because we need to build a house, ladies and gentlemen. The house that Mike built. Oh, I just took black and he doesn't even want black. No, he did. He wanted black over. 
Emergency! Emergency snow! Emergency snow! Emergency wine! Mm. Solid. Um, black. All right, we're gonna build that snowy section later. We're gonna first make the side of the house. Then we're gonna make the front of the house. And then we're gonna make the roof of the house, which has snow on it, I guess. See that snow? It's already got snow. Oh man. Someone who ever built this house did not use flat planks. And then we're gonna get that white. And we're gonna make the roof of the house. This snow needs to be perfect. It needs to be perfectly white. Um, I don't know how to angle it right. Man, that's why you make the roof first. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're building a house, build the roof first. It's the only way to make it look right. Oh, so sad. And a door. A door. Doorman. Dorman Green. The picture of Dorian Gray. Hey, that was a double pun. Because it's a grayscale painting. And it's the picture of the door in the gray. Okay, more bushes? Sure. I want to live in a land with many bushes. With bushes right around there. More white! Titanium kind. Nonchalantly, he applied the white. And with much chalance, I apply my white. I've got to make up for Ron's nonchalance with my chalance. Oh man, that doesn't look like a bush at all. It just looks like someone put oil paint on a canvas, which is what I did. Um, more wine, please. Okay, we've got, oh, one of those spindly trees. Okay, okay, okay. Spindly tree time. Time for the spindly tree zone. Oh God, will the audience please turn off their devices? Uh, man, I don't know how this is gonna show up off the black of my mountains, but okay. Okay, we go down Spindle Town. Spindle Town is straight down. Down the river. Spindle Town is a place where you can turn that frown round. This is only gray and white, except for my name. And I've got this blank area right here that doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. So this is what we do. Take our two inch, and just go right in there. We just go right in there. Solve it. Problem solved. And um, up there, fine. I leave it as exposed canvas. I need red. And as we know, mm, red, I've got an idea. Let's mix some wine in with my red. We're gonna, are we recording or what? What's going on? <laughs> anyway, let me know when we're All right, and we're gonna take a little bit of red wine in with my red. Don't drink that. And we're gonna sign my name in blood and wine right over this bush that's totally meaningless and formless. M. W. For Michael Walksher. Thank you very much for joining us for episode three of The Joy of Drinking. Now, we've got a promotion going from last time, which is you can donate. You can donate to me using a link in the description or on my YouTube channel. And if you donate within a week of when this episode is posted, and if you have the high donation, then you can choose what I drink for a future episode. 
as long as the donation that you make doesn't ex as long as the cost of the thing you want me to drink doesn't exceed the donation that you make. If you make me drink paint. Paint? You just put paint in the wine and now you're drinking it. Oh. Well, at least it's not turpentine. <laughs> we should be okay. Look, I put a disclaimer at the front of my video not to, that I don't endorse drinking, but really, don't drink oil paints. All right, thank you very much for joining me on the joy of drinking, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>